Hello, welcome to Chris's quick tips for Google Sheets. There are several different ways of counting week numbers. The International Organization for Standardization, ISO, has defined how dates and times should be formatted in ISO 8601, and this includes how week numbers are calculated. This is generally the method that is used in Europe. Google Sheets provides a function ISO week num that will calculate the ISO week number of any valid date. The US generally uses week numbers starting on a Sunday, and Google Sheet provides the week num function to calculate US week numbers. This table shows the dates just before and after the start and end of 2020 to demonstrate how week numbers are calculated by all the options available. The columns show both the week number functions and for the week num functions, all the options available using the second argument. The body of the table shows the week number for each of the dates and the colours are to make it clear where the week numbers start and end. ISO 8601 defines week 1 as the week that includes the first Thursday of a year. All weeks have seven days, so the first week of the year starts on the Monday before the first Thursday of the year. This means that it is possible that the Monday before the first Thursday of the year is actually in the previous year. In 2020, week one of 2020 actually starts in 2019. Equally, at the end of the year, it is possible that the last week of the year extends into the following year. So the final week of 2020, week 53, ends on Sunday, January the 3rd, 2021. Google Sheet has a function, ISO week num, that will calculate the ISO 8601 week number for any valid date. The date must be a Google Sheet date number and not a text string. In this table, column C is a date number that has been formatted with a long date format that includes the day of the week. Note that the week num function will also calculate the ISO 8601 week number when the second argument for this function is 21. The table shows that the ISO week num function and the week num function with a second argument of 21 both give exactly the same result. The US generally uses Sunday as the first day of the week and has a different method of calculating week number. In the US, the 1st of January is always the start of week number one. Week number two always starts on the following Sunday. This means that week number one will usually have less than seven days. In 2020, week one only has four days. At the end of the year, the final week of the year will always end on the 31st of December. So the final week will usually have less than seven days. In 2020, week 53 has five days. The US week numbers can be calculated using the week num function by only having a single argument, the date number. If you do want to include the second argument, then set the second argument for the week num function to one or even to 17. The table shows that the week num function returns the same result whether there is no second argument or a second argument of either 1 or 17. If you want week numbers for a personal calculation and are not concerned about international or regional definitions of week numbers, then you may prefer to use the 1st of January as always being the start of week 1 and week 2 starts on the first Monday of the year. Google Sheet enables you to calculate week numbers in this way using the week num function with a second argument of either 2 or 11. The table shows that both these second arguments return the same result. Google Sheet also allows you to specify that the week starts on Tuesday to Saturday. I think these are much less likely to be used, but I have included in the table for completeness. The most likely options to be used 
are therefore the ISO weak num function if you are based in Europe or the weak num function with no second argument if you are based in the US. If you are not concerned about alignment with international or regional definitions, then you may want to use weak num with a second argument of two to give you weak numbers starting on the Monday and week one starting on the 1st of January. Click to watch the playlist containing all the other videos about time and date functions in Google Sheet. There is also a playlist with a lot of videos covering other Google Sheet functions and functionality.